Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. This week we'll speak with sophomore women's soccer player Addie Healy, junior women's cross country runner Casey McIntosh, and senior football captain Luke Turner. But first, a quick look back at the weekend in Washington and Lee Athletics. The volleyball team captured the program's 14th ODAC title at the Warner Center on Saturday. The Generals beat Roanoke 3-1 in the semifinals and then swept third-seeded Lynchburg in the championship. Women's soccer fell 2-0 at top seed Lynchburg in the ODAC final, and football dropped a 35-22 decision at Hampton Sydney. The women's swimming team defeated Sweetbriar, with the men picking up a win against Hampton Sydney, and wrestling placed 13th at the Washington and Jefferson Invitational. With me now is Luke Turner, senior football captain from Wheaton, Illinois. Luke, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. You came to Washington and Lee as a quarterback. You've taken a few snaps at QB this season, but primarily you now play slot back in the Generals offense. How have you made that transition to a different position during your career? I mean, you know, it's certainly a difficult move. Uh, I only played quarterback in high school and really all my football career. But uh, learning from people like Brett Murray, you know, I got three years of watching Brett Murray and I learned a lot from him. Helped me make the switch. Injuries are certainly part of the game of football, but it seems like Washington and Lee has had more than its fair share of those this season. Uh, you have been on the sideline uh, for part of the year as well. How have the Generals dealt with all the adversity that you faced? I mean, you know, I've never participated in a season where the team has had this many injuries. So, you know, it's been very difficult, but luckily we've had some, some young guys step up and uh, coming into the season, we had a lot of depth. There was a lot of competition for spots. So when a person goes down and there's someone there to, to fill in the spot, it's always good. A victory over Shenandoah would give Washington and Lee its fourth consecutive winning season. How significant would that be for the team? Uh, very significant. You know, I, I've be, that would let us finish at six and four, and I, I don't really feel like we're a six and four team. I feel like we're better than that, and uh, you know, it is what it is. But we want to go out on top and uh, be a great way for the seniors to end their career here. It has been a great career for you and your classmates. Uh, two ODAC titles three eight-win seasons. How will you remember your time as a member of the Washington Elite program? Certainly uh, the two ODAC titles and then sharing a, a spot for the third one when I was a sophomore. But uh, I, probably my favorite memory would be last year that, that Hampton-Sydney overtime win to become o ODAC champions again. Luke, thanks for joining us here. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thanks so much. I'm joined now by Casey McIntosh, junior cross-country runner from Marietta, Georgia. Casey, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You won Washington and Lee's first two races of the season, and you earned first team all ODAC honors by placing sixth at the conference meet at Hampton Sydney. What's enabled you to have that kind of success this fall? You know, a lot of it comes from the team in that I'm surrounded every day by girls who I just love being around, you know, inspire me, try, you know, encourage me to be the best that I can be. And then also Coach Capito, you know, she's her dedication and devotion that she has to us and wanting us to be the best that we can be, it's unbelievable. Overall, how pleased have you been with Washington and Lee's team performances this year? You know, I think it's been fine. We didn't win ODAX, but, you know, our teams had to overcome a lot of injuries, and our freshmen have really stuck, uh, stepped up to the plate, and I can't wait to see what next season holds for us. You come from a very athletic family. Your dad played basketball at Albright. Your uncle ran track at Franklin and Marshall. And your cousin, Drew Waprinsky, is on the baseball team here at Washington and Lee. How have those family connections influenced you as a student athlete? Sports have definitely been a big part of my life from an early age, um, but it's been great having Drew here, especially in the spring when his baseball games are going on. Our families drive up, they watch my outdoor track meets, they watch his baseball games. So having that extra family support has been wonderful. The Generals ran at the Christopher Newport Invitational back in October. You're returning there for the regional meet this weekend. What are the keys for Washington and Lee to have a successful race at the South-Southeast meet? You know, I see two big things. First, we're going to have to start out fast and really try and keep up with the best teams, you know, match their moves. And second, you know, when there's a lull around the second mile, if we can really take advantage of that, I think we'll be successful. Casey, thanks for being here. Good luck at the regional meet this weekend. Thank you. I appreciate it. With me now is Addie Healy, sophomore soccer goalkeeper from Waterford, Virginia. Addie, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Washington and Lee had a spectacular season, 11 ODAC wins. You went 17-3 and three and 1 overall. I know it's disappointing to come up just short of an ODAC title and to miss out on an NCAA bid, but how pleased were you with the way that the Generals competed this fall? I'm so proud of my team. Um, we came so far from um, last year, and we introduced 10 new freshmen, and sometimes that could be something hard to work through, but they all came in and hit the ground running. and. Um, 
our work ethic as a whole was just really excellent and um, I think that's something that deserves <laughs> um, some recognition and I know in the end we didn't meet our goal um, of winning the ODAX but we still like you said we had a great record and um, there's a lot that we can be proud of like we were ranked nationally for a you know extended number of weeks and um, I just think we have a lot to go with moving forward. The Washington and Lee defense allowed just nine goals in your 21 matches on the season. You kept 13 clean sheets on the year. What made the generals so strong in the back third, especially with so many young players seeing time there? Um, well, I think some of it stems from um, the whole team. Like we, what's kind of unique about us is that we defend as a team um, from the top to the bottom. Our, even if you're a forward, you're coming back and defending a center mid, winning tackles is all across the field. And so um, that definitely helped us. But then I have to give a lot of credit to my back three, um, Lex, Ashley, and Hollis. They were great. And um, I think Lex's leadership was really important um, for them. But they also, I mean, they're really great players. And I don't think you would know that they were freshmen, just having, uh, just watching. But um, cause they're really confident. And they just, you know, they did really well. I'm really proud of them. <laughs> so. The team will graduate three seniors. You were talking about Alexis Blight, who was a regular starter in the back third. Jasmine Sue saw her career cut short by injuries, but was still a big part of the team. Kingsley Schroeder came out as a sophomore and was the number two keeper for three years. What did those three players mean to the team? Um, losing them is going to be hard. They all are such an integral part of our team. Um, like I talked about Lex before, like she's a great player on the field. She had a lot to offer. Um, but also as a leader as well. She's kind of the voice of reason um, for our team. And that's something, you know, it'll be hard to replace. But, um, and then Jasmine Sue, she couldn't even play at all because of her concussion this year. Um, and she knew this from last year that she wouldn't be able to. And I think it would have been an easy thing to not participate in the season, um, spend more time with, you know, her, like she's trying to get to med school. so some more time with that, but instead, like, she still exhibited so much dedication to our program. She came to every practice. She came to every game. She supported us through everything, and um, even though she wasn't on the field, she was still a great leader and just someone to look up to, so she was important. And, um, and then Kingsley, I'm really going to miss her. She's, <laughs> she's a really great person, um, probably has the best attitude of anyone. I've ever met. She was so positive all the time, um, and it made practice really enjoyable. Like we we came up early a lot, the two of us, um, to have keeper sessions, and it. I just don't know how it would be as fun as it was without her there. Um, she's really supportive of me too, which I um, appreciated, and I just really looked up to her the past two years. And it's hard for me to imagine what it's going to be like next year without Kingsley. Um, I guess I'll have to take on her role of. <laughs> You know, mentoring whatever freshman comes in, but I don't know. Those three are really great, and I just hope that they, I know they'll do big things when they graduate. So, The Generals will have a strong nucleus coming back next year. What are your expectations for the team in 2014? Um, well, we have 20 returning players, so that's huge. And I just think that our consistency and progress with this season is um, indicative of a big future for us. Um, you know, next year, hopefully we can finish off that final game and, um, you know, achieve our main goal. But I just really think we have a lot going for us. And I think, the, like, all of the freshmen will continue to develop. And a lot comes with just being a year older. And I think that will show a lot next year. Addie, thanks for being here. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you. It's time now for a look at the upcoming weekend. Volleyball travels to Emory University in Atlanta for an eight-team NCAA regional. The Generals open up against Barry on Friday evening, and action continues throughout the weekend. Both basketball teams begin their seasons with home tournaments at the Water Center. The men will tip off against Ferrum on Friday. The cross-country teams will hit the road on Saturday for the NCAA South-Southeast Regional at Christopher Newport. The women's race starts at 11, followed by the men's meet at noon. Men's and women's swimming head to Pittsburgh to take on Carnegie Mellon and Allegheny, while riding competes in the Sweetbriar Invitational. Football wraps up the season at Shenandoah, and men's basketball will continue play against either Southern Virginia or Defiance. Later in the evening, women's hoops opens up against Meredith, while wrestling hosts a dual meet against Manchester. And women's basketball returns to the court on Sunday to face either Gallaudet or Alvernia. 
For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.